My teacher in Taiwan always says, why do you want to be so busy? Sit down, talk about it, think about it. So, steeping this tea, several infusions. This, actually, this brew, I did leave for a bit and come back. And so now this is a little bit tangier of a, of a flavor, a little bit stronger of a flavor. And you might notice that I've switched my, my brew station around so that I have my kettle on my left. And actually, that's the same as the last video. But if you want to see a video with my kettle on the right, then watch episode four or one or two maybe. Because I'm left-handed, I typically will have my kettle on the right and then I'll use my left hand dexterous. It's kind of fun to just most tea setups that I would encounter, the kettle on the left and the, the pouring on the right balance. There's some action for the left hand, some action for the right hand. And uh, when I talk about action, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. It's tea. Say I want to pour to a cup on the left. We're going to pass this cup around behind our brew station to pour with the left hand. Another way to achieve balance is that we have these, this small teapot and this pitcher here, and both of these have their mouth opening or their spout pointing parallel in this direction here. While this kettle, it's got its spout at an angle facing this way. This is heavy and big, and these are small. You can use two of these to point this way. Now we've got one angle coming this way and two angles coming this way to have an intersection right here. This is this is sort of the thinking behind the positioning of this teaware using today I'm brewing this golden monkey, which is a really excellent, super neat, high quality green oolong from Taiwan. The tea is such a high quality, the way it's grown and processed with such care and understanding of tea that it just is such a super high quality tea. So it's really exciting to have this. A lot of times when we're talking about tea, we're we're talking about aroma, flavor, and mouthfeel. Aroma, it's the most fleeting as well. Flavor stays in the mouth, but mouthfeel stays in the mouth the longest. It's the aftertaste. The mouthfeel is where I feel like a lot of the hugest aspects in terms of the quality of the tea leaf itself, the root of the tea, how it's grown, the, the processing, and just the overall quality is really shines in terms of mouthfeel. Curls your tongue inward, so it's almost like holding a piece of candy in that spot. That's the feeling that, that arrives from this, this type of mouthfeel in this tea.